Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Memorial Day. I got a real good treat for you guys. Check this out. A while back I had taken my cluster out because I needed to get back into the, um, behind it to change out the, the uh, flasher. Well, I took this guy out and I was like, hmm, what can we do to make, kind of spice this up, right? Because I know I had already done the LED uh, swap out for you guys. And I was thinking, you know, on my car, on my 2014, I have what's called my color, which you can change the colors of the, um, the LEDs um, on the gauges and the interior lights. And man, that would be something, I mean, that'd be totally sweet if we could have something like that in the old 68s. So I went online, I found me some RGBs, uh, LEDs. I hooked them up, I got them into the, into the gauges and check this out. This looks so beautiful. Even better, check this out. So I got it hooked up to my iPad here. And with this guy, I can actually change the color, any color I want. Just kind of scrolling around, check this out. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Man, there's some preset colors as well. I can go through here on the bottom. Um, it's, a, it's a Chinese app, I can't lie. But, oh my God, check that out. You got a green car and now you got green gauges. Sweet, you got a red car, how about red gauges? Blue car, I'm gonna go blue gauges. Just a white car, you just want all white, that's fine, you can do that. Any color of the spectrum you want. From light, light, light blue, right? All the way over to blue, to a purplish, to a red. Oh my God, this just looks so nice. Look at that. Oh my God. Now there was some stuff I had to do to the gauge pod. Um, I had to take it apart again. Now inside is um, the LEDs, but they're actually hooked up to some fiber optic cables inside. So I'll go ahead and take that off so that way you can kind of see and check it out. Um, I haven't exactly mounted them into the pod. Um, you know, I've kind of just wrapped around, wrapped the, um, uh, the fiber octave cables around the gauges so that way it can kind of bleed through really, really well. But my plan is basically is to get this and, and just kind of um, hot glue them in there so that way it's not, it's permanent, but just semi-permanent. Um, so I wanna get that stuff in there. So let me get the pod down. Uh, let me take off the, the casing on the front and show you um, how I hooked it up. All right guys, I'm here back at the bench. And uh, so here's the pod, it's already still on. So let's take off the, the front fascia here and let me show you what we got going on. So we got a little bit of a dance party here. <clears throat> so this is the, um, these are the LEDs that I went ahead and installed. The first thing you have to do is, is take this out of your car, uh, take the cluster out of your car, take it apart. Again, remember you gotta take off the wiper um, switch here. There's a small, um, knob that goes on here and you got to take that off with the number two Allen wrench. Um, so once you take that, take that off with the number two, I'm sorry it's so dark in here. You don't want to turn on the lights. There you go. Okay, so you got to take that off the wiper switch off with the number two. Uh, Alan, that's on the bottom there. So once you take that off, uh, the gauge cluster should be taken off. There's some, a couple screws on the back side. Um, after that, you have to take off these filters uh, that go uh, for your regular incandescent. Now, for me, I had the, the LEDs, which are these guys. Um, these LEDs here, I don't know if you can see them. Right here, right there. <coughs> and they had filters on top of them. They made it look really nice, a nice blue color, nice blue tint. But you gotta take them off so that way the, um, the light of the, of the new LEDs can shine through a lot more because these really filtered them. They didn't really come out great. I tried it without the, uh, the fiber optic and they didn't work out too well. So I went in and took all of these off. Actually, I kind of broke two of them, but you know, I guess they're staying off now. So there's one here. There's two on the side of the speedometer. There's two on the side of either your tachometer 
Uh, mine is a gas gauge and an alternator. And then there's another one over here on the other side of the temperature gauge. Now, there are several other lights and LEDs that I have switched out. I have my blinkers. I left those, the regular um, LED blinkers. And my for my brights, I left that one as well. And this is my brake light, <coughs> if my brakes ever fell. And then there's this one here. I haven't changed that one out. I only had six of the uh, RGB LEDs that were that came with the unit. So I couldn't change all of them. Uh, this is the only one I'm missing. So I'm probably gonna leave this one out. Everything looked great. I don't think I needed any more lights. Um, but basically what these guys are, as you can see, um, this wire goes to the L RGB uh, lights and then um, you screw in your, your fiber optic cable with this plastic screw there and it stays in there. So what I plan to do, like I said, is hot glue um, these guys down, you know, just kind of right here on the side so that they don't stick up. Uh, they're they're semi-permanent with the hot glue. It's not that bad. And the same thing with the uh, up with the unit over here for the um, for the fiber optic the fiber optic units. So getting all of those uh, situated, put in there, then putting the cluster back on, sealing everything back up. And now this guy runs off of Bluetooth to be able to change the colors. I've already tested. So once you select the color, like let's say I select red. Um, after I turn off the ignition, it turns off. But when I turn the ignition back on, the unit gets power and it goes right back to the color that you had selected last. So that's the good thing. I wanted to make sure it did that. Um, the, rate, the way it actually hooks up, it's 12 volts. Um, here's the unit here. And you can see here, bring it over. Here's the unit. It's 12 volts. Um, now that guy, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to wire it into one of the existing LED sockets. Um, I have some socket adapters. So what I'm gonna do is take the socket adapter. I'm gonna take the, the two leads off of the box. I'm gonna put that on the socket adapter and then plug it into the socket here. So that way it automatically gets power from the gauge pod. So it gets power from the socket. That's great. It lights up. Um, once you select the color, it, the color comes back on. I really don't see any disadvantages to this. Um, I don't know how long it'll last. Um, I really don't drive my car at night too much, but you know, just when it gets uh, um, at dusk, turn the lights on. Um, it's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, just want to have my, my car stand out a little bit. I haven't seen this with any other cars um, of this era. So it's nice to have a little bit of modern touch to, um, to some of our classics. Um, again, you know, like on my 2014, it comes with my color. Um, it ch changes the interior lights and the gauges and also the door, um, the sills on the bottom. So I was thinking about that too. I was looking for uh, another box that maybe was compatible with some, some more uh, lights than this one came with. I just wanted to test this out. It was very cheap. I got it on AliExpress. So um, maybe having some interior lighting match the gauges and then also with the sills, I was thinking about kind of cutting out the uh, the square where a Ford logo is um, and putting some acrylic there with a Ford logo and then having some LED uh, shine behind it so that way it lights up as well. So now we'll have, we'll have the door sills, interior lights and the gauge pod all matching with this one box Bluetooth on my phone. Um, I got a, also got a, I also got a uh, clip that clips into the car so that way I can have my iPad uh, conveniently in my in my car so there you have it guys um, I hope you like this video it was kind of quick uh, I'm gonna put it all back together you know just uh, get it all hot glued <laughs> and uh, screw it all back together um, I'll get it back in the car and uh, hopefully on the next video after I'm done I'll be able to show you what the final touches so hey like and subscribe as always share the video uh, comment down below let me know what you think um, maybe there's something else that you didn't think of uh, to be able to put into the car. But um, again, we'll see you later.